calm that silence then. Got them. Just making sure I pay attention to the radar at all times. Is he on the roof? No, he's not. He's laid down. Be advised. Advanced UAV is out of fuel. Returning to base. Coming in from behind. Got them. Did they hear us? And there we go. That's the nuke. I didn't know we're on a 29 in that situation. But we're just going to carry on and see how long we can keep this kill streak going for. It's a shame that we're capping all the flags because the game could have potentially lasted for longer. Got him with a C4, that's a 53. Hit the like button in 5 seconds if you need a nuke in multiplayer or a win in warzone. Hey how's it going everybody I'm the Spyro and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a best class setup for the MP5 submachine gun to use in multiplayer in warzone in modern warfare. So the MP5 is one of the most popular submachine guns in the game currently. It's sort of between the MP7 and the MP5. Personally I'd say the MP7 is better at range but then the MP5 is better at close range. But don't get me wrong with the MP5 you can still get medium to long range kills and that's exactly why it's a good submachine gun to use use. So the attachments I'm going to be showing you in today's video I personally think work the best on the MP5 in the most recent update 1.21 and after this video you'll be able to copy the attachments and just use it for yourself and see what you can do with it. So before we jump into the attachments for this weapon if I could ask you to hit the like button on the video and subscribe with notifications on. We're currently on the road to 6,000 subscribers so if you could help me achieve that milestone it'd be much appreciated and if you do hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on let me know down below in the comments I can just say thank you and share my appreciation. Yeah so that's enough for that we'll jump straight into the attachments and show exactly what I'm using on this weapon. So for the first attachment we've got the barrel and the barrel I'm using is a subsonic integrated suppressor. So this gives us sound suppression, no visible traces, aim down sight speed and no enemy skulls as a pro and then as a minus we've got bullet velocity. So this attachment keeps us hidden from the enemy and it also gives you the extra bonuses listed on screen now in terms of the no visible traces and then no enemy skulls and this just keeps you hidden hidden from the enemy and potentially helps you survive for longer. So moving on to the next attachment we've got the under barrel and the under barrel I'm using is the Merc Foregrip. So this gives us recoil control and hip fire accuracy as a pro. Then as a minus we've got aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So this keeps the gun under control and helps us get them hip fire kills easier. So when you're rushing around and you accidentally run into somebody you can hip fire them and keep your bullets on target and this is definitely an attachment I recommend on this class setup. So moving on to the next attachment we've got the ammunition and the ammunition I'm using is a 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags so this gives us damage and range as a pro and then as a minus we've got fire rate and recoil control so this gives us less ammo in a mag but we've also got the extra damage and range so this works wonders helps you get them kills faster and get kills at range so this is definitely an attachment I recommend using on this setup so moving on to the next attachment we've got the stock and the stock I'm using is the FTAC collapsible so this gives us movement speed and aim down sight speed as a pro and as a minus we've got aim stability and recoil control so this helps us pull back the aim down sight speed that's been minus from the previous attachments and it also gives us an increasement of movement speed so we can move around the map quickly, rotate back and forth from the enemy spawns and this just works wonders and is definitely something that works well on this setup. So moving on to the final attachment for this weapon we've got the perk and the perk I'm using is the sight of hand perk. So the perk is all personal preference, you don't have to use a perk on this class setup but I feel because it's a submachine gun you're going to be rushing around, rotating around the map quickly and you're going to be getting into a lot of engagement. Engagements. So if you've got sleight of hand you can reload quicker, jump into engagements faster and this will result in potentially getting more kills. So this is a personal preference but I'd recommend using the sleight of hand perk on this setup. Yeah so that's covered all the attachments for this setup. I honestly feel all the attachments work well together to make this a solid class setup and something I'd highly recommend trying in multiplayer and warzone. And just let me know down below what you think in the comments and I'll reply to all comments that I see. Yeah so we're going to jump straight to some gameplay now and show you exactly what this weapon can do and 
and in this gameplay we got a 55 kill streak with a nuke so make sure to watch the full gameplay to see how i achieved that kill streak it's much appreciated and also let me know down below what you think of the gameplay also yeah so without further ado let's jump straight into the gameplay and show you exactly what this weapon can do Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm the Spyro, and welcome back to this video. So we're literally jumping into this gameplay with the MP5, a best class setup, and let's just see what we can do with this weapon. Got them. Right. So I think I've pushed way too far. Two people there. Careful. Managed to get them. Someone on this roof. They are indeed. I nearly messed that up. Got them. Right, so we've got the UAV. Gonna throw that in straight away. Calm dead silence then. Got them. Just making sure I pay attention to the radar at all times. We're weak, so we'll drop round here. No kills with the C4, unfortunately. Right. Try and push around here. Oh, someone there. Not going to challenge that. I think they were in the lean, the uh, mountain, so I'm at a disadvantage. Just drop across here. That's our support helo. Adventure AV. Right, I've got hardly any ammo. Go, got some ammo from them. Couldn't pick any ammo off them. I didn't want to stay around their body too long. Got the ammo. Right, I'm gonna rotate round here. Come dead silence in. Stim up. My aim was off then. Someone following us. They are indeed. I heard the water splashing around. That's exactly why you always need to pay attention to the noises you hear in game. As it can help you. Right. I stopped shooting a little bit too early then. Rotate around here. Right, go around here. Coming from all angles. Right, call my adventure Vian. Drop my dead silence. Right, and I'm going to try to rotate round to the enemy. Got them. Oh, he's on there. That could have been a bad play for myself. I didn't notice him until last minute. Is he on the roof? No, he's not. He's laid down. 
joining to base. Coming in from behind. Got them. Did they hear us? And there we go. That's a nuke. I didn't know we are on a 29 in that situation. But we're just going to carry on and see how long we can keep this kill streak going for. Right, so there's another one here. Not even playing. Got them. I think that's maybe a 34. We'll see on the next kill. Tactical insurgent. Right, um, gonna push around this side. Is there anyone at A? I don't know. That puts on a 35. In this situation, I've already got the nukes, I'm literally just running around. Because it doesn't really matter at this stage. Right, gonna drop, drop out that situation. That puts on a 38, drop the dead silence. Somebody there. Guy with the riot shield. I don't want to challenge him. Right, he turned, turned away from us. That put us, us on a, a 41. We control the battlefield. Got them. 44. 45. Um, someone above us, I think. Just gonna sit here. Forty-seven. Anybody else around here? Can we get to a fifty? 49. Push around this side. 50. Just literally rotating, rotating around, listening to the footsteps at all times. Right, so we're currently triple capping. So I don't know whereabouts to be spawning. I th yeah, I think... They'll now be spawning at sea, I think. We control the battlefield. Yeah, they are. Push them around this side. Stop shooting a little bit too early. But that's a 51. It's a shame that we're capping all the flags. Because the game could have potentially lasted for longer. Got him with a C4, that's a 53. Anybody else around here? Right, gonna drop the nuke. There we go, we deployed it. That was close. I forgot we all had all the flags. But can we get a final kill before the game ends? 54. Can we make it a 55? Can we get anyone on the flag? There we go, 55. The nuke's gone off. I'm certainly happy with that game. I did not expect to get a 55 kill streak and a nuke. So there's certainly nothing to complain about in that game. So from that gameplay, you can see how good the MP5 actually is in game. You can sort of just run around because it's a submachine gun. And you've got the ability to get medium to long range kills as well. So it's an overall a good class setup to use. So as you can see from that gameplay, we got a 55 kill streak and we did 61 to 1 death with a nuke. So that definitely was a solid game. And I'm certainly happy with how that game went. Yeah, so I think 
think that's about it for me anyway. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. It's much appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.